<sighs> this is very heavy. Hello, my besties. TSMA Apagalia here. And as you can see, I am holding the box of the second wealthiest person on earth. Okay. Hello, besties. As we all know, okay, Starlink. You know who developed Starlink, right? So, Elon Musk, okay, develops the Starlink satellite, okay? It's the internet <laughs> constellation. It's really, really <laughs> heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me sit down, okay? Ah, oh my gosh. So, in 2015, Permalink, okay, okay, so there are 60 Starlink satellites. Imagine this 60 Starlink satellites that were stacked together, okay, so before the deployment on May 24, okay, that's in 2019, that's before COVID, if I'm not mistaken. May, oh, yeah, 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 before COVID, so 60 Starlink, <laughs> it's very heavy satellites stuck together okay like what i said in 2015 elon musk off-site link of spacex the off-site link okay began construction <sighs> really heavy oh my gosh and launching into orbit we saw that we went there and then of the you know the starlink upside link satellite internet constellation you know what i really cannot um wait to open this box okay you know that's encompassing you know thousands if not hundreds it's thousands, thousands for sure thousands <laughs> of mass produced small satellites in low earth orbit okay to provide this satellite you know internet access you know but also for military purposes also you know how it works so you know scientific or exploratory purposes so it's really 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 genius eh? So this project was based at the SpaceX satellite, okay. Development facility in Redmond, okay. Redmond, not Blue Mond, okay. That's in Washington offside, right? okay. That housed the whole Starlink research and development. The manufacturing, okay and the uh, on-orbit control operations, okay? I'm just combing my hair because I'm shy. I forgot to comb my hair. All right, my bestie, so SpaceX now estimated the total, the total, total cost of the decade. This has been a long, long project to design, okay? Come to think of it, to design an internet, we build, and then we deploy a constellation that you build okay and what's about um, around 10 billion as of 2018 so go figure if that's 2018 19 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, years so as of 15 october october 15 okay two days before my baby's birthday mika's birthday in 2019 of course so the 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 u.s federal um, communications we're talking about a commission off-site link okay they submitted you know filings to the international telecommunications <sighs> union of site link okay uh catching my breath actually i'm having asthma okay so you know on the SpaceX behalf to arrange a spectrum for 30,000 additional star link. Maybe that's a lot of stars, huh? Star link, okay? Satellites, okay? 
to supplement the 12,000 styling satellites already. Wow. And this is approved by FCC. So, my bestie is what is Starlink. Alright, so how does satellite internet work? I'm gonna show you what it looks like because I don't know also, okay? Why? We're discussing about that one. We're just gonna open this. Alright, my besties. If you, for example, right, if you're a star, you love stargazing like that because you wanna like capture the moment of the night sky. Okay. If you look up at the beautiful, beautiful night sky at any point since uh, two years ago, you may have seen some like unexpected, like new addition at the night sky. Like, whoa, why, why there's a lot of like stars, you know? And they're like close. So I'm not talking about the UFO, okay? Well, personally, I saw when I was in first grade, but that, that, that was in the Philippines, so. Rather the introduction of thousands, if not hundreds, uh, it's thousands of new low, like low orbit satellites, you know, that form and they're a part of the SpaceX Starlink project, okay? So what is a Starlink? When will a Starlink be available in your area? Ooh. And how does satellite internet work? Anyway, okay. Oh, this one is really heavy, my besties. <sighs> Jesus, look at that. Just look, look, just look. Ah, okay, all right, okay. <sighs> Tired already. So what is Starlink? Again, what? I don't know. But it's this one. <laughs> so this, this is Starlink. Okay. It's a satellite constellation project that will place thousands of small satellites in low orbit. In low Earth orbit. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I love the plastic design, man. It's 550 kilometers above us. So, my best is so the RA will beam internet. Okay, so imagine that. It will beam internet signals, you know, from the satellites, okay, down to the ground. Transceivers. So, which in turn broadcasts like locally or wire directly to your starting router? Who knows, maybe later on, if, if I will assemble this later, you know, maybe we will, we can already like watch, you know, the whole universe. So I don't know how it's worked, but you know, Starlink is not the same as our cell phone, okay? Like our cell phone signal, like our, our iPhone, it, you know, the Apple iPhone, you know, it has 5G, so it allows a home business or remote location to connect to internet via a satellite probably oh look at that look at that my business oh my gosh it's claro. plastic okay eh? this is really heavy so how many starlink satellites are in the orbit today there so in 2019 I assume that there are like more than 3,000 Starlink satellites, all right, are orbiting the planet. So SpaceX plans to deploy at least, that was in 2019 to 2020, at least 12,000 satellites. So with plans for like up to 30,000, maybe not 50,000, I don't know. But yeah, 30,000 to ensure that the internet coverage will cover, you know, global, globally via Starlink, of course. And some figures put the total as high as 42,000. Or well, let's just say 50,000. Okay, so this is the one. It's really heavy and it's metal. Okay, so 
All right, bestie. So that figure, you know, took a, a <laughs> it's light dent in 2020. Oh my God, what is this? Whoa. You know, as a geomagnetic storm took out 38 Starlink satellites shortly, you know, after their launch. So, of a launch group containing 49 satellites. You know what? There are only now just 11 survived the event. All right, look at this besties. So, that, see? So, just 11 survived the event. So, while the rest re entered the Earth's atmosphere. Wow. Ew, the strebby. Oh, my gosh. Look at it, my besties. So, how does satellite internet work? Look at that. See? That's the star link. And it has like this. See that one? So, satellite internet works similarly to cable internet. Okay? Except, you know, there are a few more moving parts. Look at that. See? Oh, and a lot of cables. Okay. Alright. So, look at that one, my besties. Oh, it's really, really heavy. It's literally heavy. Okay, so it comes with this too. Alright, see that one? Oh. So, for example, you know, in summary, it's like you, you had to make use of, you know, to catch up on the latest news. So, your data request passes from your phone, or I mean the computer, okay? Your computer to a satellite dish. Okay. Which is attached to your home. Alright. So now, the satellite internet dish, it broadcasts, you know, the data request you know, to a satellite. Kind of like when you turn on your phone, you know, and then you look at the, the internet, kind of like that. But, you know, <sighs> you request to a satellite, you know, that's orbiting the Earth. So, in turn, the satellites now, the satellite sends the request to the ISP. Then it will send your data back, which reverses the process. It now transmits data, you know, from the provider to the satellite. Okay, so it comes with this one too. See, that's a lot. So, you know, then the satellite to the satellite internet dish. Then down to the router, okay, down to the router and onto your computer. Yeah, so these are the regulatory notices. Yeah. So, you arrive at make use of and begin reading and reading and reading and reading. This is a lot. Oh my God. Now, how fast is Starlink internet? Oh, this is in English. France, Canadian, Netherlands, Italian. So these are the. There you go. You have to read this. So when Starlink first launched, you know, and entered our collective imagination, you see the company advertised it speeds up to one. GBPS. Oh. I was wondering why this one is wet. Okay. When fully functional. I hope they didn't send a used one. I hope. Okay. So, however, in 2021, it revised that figure upwards to an ambitious 10 GBPS. Well, let me see this. Oh making this service much faster than most existing gigabit gigabit internet services 
Hmm. Why they can't make like a uh, smaller than you know, than this? This is too heavy. So my best is is peaking at satellite. 2020. Okay, Elon Musk said that the company is targeting latency below 20 milliseconds. Is so somebody could play a fast um, response, like a vid if you're playing a video game of it, you know, at a really competitive level. It's really fast, which could be. Maybe you you say you can say it's exceptional. Okay, it's really really fast. So if you're a gamer, me I only play Clash of Clans. Okay, aside from this mule, my app, my other apps, you know. Yeah. So. <sighs> so when is Starlink first launch in 2020? August 2020. Its beta program was limited to users. Okay throughout high latitude regions, regions of the United States of America, okay, and Canada, okay, such as Chicago, Seattle, Port, Portland, so yeah, so there were some promising reports, or result, results, I mean, you know, I'm, they, they did a speed test actually and it was a boon to Starlink at the time and encouraging the company to push to push on with its satellite I wiped it because for some reason I don't know why it's wet so it's probably from the truck when they delivered it you know, FedEx because of the bad, bad weather we have here in Alaska. So, for example, my besties, at the time in 2020, 2020, you know, a group of Redditors, the Reddit, okay, they compiled a list. It was a bunch of list of Starlink speed test that they performed, you know, to illustrate now the variety and the range of these locations. So they had they had a actual list, a handout. Okay, so according to the list, that star, <laughs> that star link, that star links faster confirmed speed was two hundred two hundred three point seventy four Mbps. Meg is it megabytes per seconds with a ping of twenty nine. MS. So correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, besties. So the fastest overall ping was 18 MS. The fastest upload scene was 42.58 Mbps. I think that's that's um I don't know, but it's per per second. I think that's, I think that's the one. Oh yes. Yeah. So 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 the Starlink the Starlink now has been up and running for about for around two two years okay two years or well, three years now is it okay so figuring out how fast it is in a specific areas is easier now than ever so first up um starlink's you know internet speed has increased throughout the period you know as more and more satellites now you know come online and provide now better better services better range of coverage okay to to the growing number of starlink subscribers aye, aye, aye. all right so i don't like tesla by the way okay <laughs> So the image below, you know, this image, what you're seeing right now, okay, you can see that the growth of Starlink has been phenomenal, right? Like the, the one the one on Reddit, if you read that one, it's really, the reports, you know, 
of speeds exceeding 300 mbps okay i think that's megabytes per second i'm not sure so it's now um commonplace with the odd report now of speeds hitting around like 600 maybe 600 700 it was it's really really fast so ah, they they are targeting the rural rural users of course and the uh, remote locations you know they offered here in alaska especially because what we have now is too slow it's very expensive you know so they're they're offering those people much faster faster internet than previously thought possible so yeah we're lucky all right so at at least at faster speeds and with less restriction i'm really amazed my besties oh my gosh look at that it's like a tv already tv monitor so who can use a starlink that is this it's just plain like plastic but it's heavy because of the back it's made of metal see so when the full array of starlink satellites is in orbit the service we will offer now near glow global coverage okay of the populated earth of the populated mother earth the green earth of jesus okay so at the current time you know starlink is available if i'm not mistaken in 32 countries okay most of the u.s canada large um areas in europe okay new zealand yeah so with numerous like countries uh, on the wait list maybe next now is australia i'm not sure i'm not sure well i hope you know australia like that in in asia uh, so my parents can put up one also because it's fast and it's probably cheaper too over there later on so starlink may offer coverage in your country okay so we will see <clears throat> but whether you can use it comes down to you know the national regulation it depends to the you know political aspects of you know if they will approve it or not so we see we see we will see for example okay countries such as russia or china they will surely require special regulation of the service. Mm. Mm. I hate politics, but yeah. If they allow Starlink, you know, to broadcast on the frequencies at all. Speaking of China and Russia, okay. So another, another alternative is to ban the sale, maybe. You know, you, know, you never know. And use of Starlink ground terminals. Hmm. Maybe they will like intercept the reception. Kind of like that. They will ban it. So we will see. Okay, so it isn't as straightforward really as switching Starlink, Starlink's, you know, satellite receiver on you know as soon as you have the coverage wonder how this one works maybe it, it will i will read this later maybe i have to this up somewhere maybe computer i don't know or we'll plug it i don't know we'll see so how much does this cost how much does this cost <clears throat> my besties all right, so it will set you back a cool, it's actually 110 a month. This one is $110 a month. So on top of, you know, one, you know, on top of the one of like 600 
dollars equipment fee. This one, six hundred dollars. It's five ninety nine to be exact. Which includes the satellite dish, this one, and a Wi Fi router. Yeah. Wi Fi router, this one. <sighs> My best is really heavy. <sighs> so that's the standard Starlink configuration. So the premium cost, you know, even more premium cost. You know, requiring two five two thousand five hundred for the equipment and a five hundred monthly subscription subscription fee. So the premium model, okay, it comes with a larger satellite like this, but it's bigger and faster download and upload speeds. So if I have that, not this one, the other one, then if I uploaded like YouTube videos, then it's probably just like that. It's done, you know. And it's really targeting businesses rather than home users. So this is good for home users. This is only 100, 110 a month, okay. <clears throat> probably the business one, it should, it's probably um maybe three uh four times as big as this four times than this one so there are also third option the star starling rv so that's the newest addition to the satellite okay internet ro rosters so uh, this meant for those heading out or perhaps leaving or if you have an rv okay you're traveling you travel a lot for, but that one is if I'm not mistaken, it's 135 a month. So it costs, okay, more than that standard option. <clears throat> Excuse me. And also, we still need to pay an equipment fee. All right, so the bonus to signing up for Starlink RV is that you may receive your hardware faster okay than the regular this one regular sterling yeah but i don't have rv no more so there's no need for me to get that one so yeah so we will see we will see we will test this one later i just have to figure out how to assemble it so yeah oh let's see huh let's see i'm kind of excited my besties can't wait maybe also when i got done singing and i downloaded that okay or uploaded it it's it's gonna be really really fast okay yeah <sighs> you know you can easily spot the satellites you know you can spot them racing through the night sky like a train of ufos oh, i can't wait maybe if you if you will like look at the night sky and you see like whoa look at that star is too low that that was that's the starlink okay so how will star starlink affect our astronomy so starlink's effect on astronomy is still being understood okay still being understood but the initial feedback, you know, from the night sky, okay, okay, the observers, okay, in the observatory, so this, and, and, and they say scientists is poor, okay, so the worry that the starling is going to, like, pollute the lower Earth's orbit, okay, area, with artificial light, the one I was telling you, 
okay from the satellite seems mostly founded so like what i told you if you will say oh wait, there's a lot of stars that are really low so those are the starlinks satellites so is this safe my besties it is safe in terms of data okay just like the regular internet it, it, it's it's safe the data transmissions okay so it isn't 5g like what we have on our phone the iphone okay which some some people would really worry about so it isn't the same as i got my back hurts it isn't the same as wi-fi okay either so starlink uses you know existing frequency bands you know the ku bands and ka kaku kuka bands that have long been used for satellite communication without issue so my besties if you have a star starlink already and uh, please let me know if you you are getting like problems or issues please comment below right let me know please and also and also as for the actual satellite safety it only stands you know to reason the more like things okay you add onto the high space my back hurts Oof. so the conclusion is you know likely you know it's it's whenever a satellite passes but whenever it passes within one kilometer you know, of one another they passes this is known as a close close encounter Ooh, it's dangerous so 1600 1600 of these encounters actually they happen every week every week or every three days you know and a spacex satellites account for over half of them you know as per space.com so if you want to know more about this you really have to do some digging okay and if you want to buy I think I encourage you guys to buy while it's still low, you know, or later on it could be more, it's, you know, the fee, maybe it'll be less, you know, but well, if you're a gamer and if you really want, you know, to speed up some things up, then if you want to speed some things up when you're a gamer, then I suggest that you you get one of this one. All right, my besties, my back hurts now, so I will see you all mm. later. My besties, love you all so much. Okay, and I just wanna thank you for watching all the videos. And also, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and comment below, and comment below. <laughs> and comment below and share 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 and don't forget to subscribe i will see you all on my next vlog and also please follow on my tsma family honestmeal.com they are all sexy handsome hot amazing and amazing and amazing singers all right i love you so much